Hello, and welcome to part two of episode two of Daily Dose of Dan. Yeah, I know. It's kind of lame. But anyway, the reason I'm doing this video for that, that, that specific video is to show you the difference six days makes. Um, I'm a person that if I can do it, I do it. So what I've done is I've added a tripod, I've changed my camera, and I've taken notes on what things I need to cover this time around. Um, I know I just got done rewatching uh, the first video I did, and I was tapping as I was talking because I'm a fidgeter, you know. And I'm going to try not to do that because uh, I have misophonia, which I don't know if you know what that is, but annoying sounds bug the hell out of me. And just so just in case there's people out there that also have that, I'm going to try really hard not to tap in the future so the microphone don't pick it up. Uh, so anyway, uh, what I want to do is I want to touch back on some of the things from the first episode of this line and go over some things and hopefully we'll get through this together and hopefully the video will be much better quality. So anyway, the first thing I wanted to do was uh, uh, go over some of the comments that have been in the comment section. Uh, someone had asked why did it take so long for me to post uh, a video after my surgery. Um, I live out in the country and our internet is atrocious and so it took a long time to finally get a fast internet that would actually that I had good upload speeds and as you know the higher the quality of the video the longer it takes to upload so it just wasn't practical at the time so now that I have fast internet thanks to Elon Musk and Starlink um, I'm gonna be able to upload a lot so so hold on you're gonna see a lot of videos and a lot of content uh, another question I had was, uh, will my wife be on Daily Dose of Dan? Um, sadly, no, she won't. Um, I know that bums out a lot of you. Uh, I know a lot of you just love her to death. <laughs> so do I. But she is a private person, and she doesn't overly like... Pi she doesn't even like pictures being taken of her, alone less being on video. So the odds of her being on here. But what I will tell you is I have some retro footage that has her in it from a long time ago that I will upload. Um, so you won't be getting any interviews from her, but you will get. You might be able to see a glimpse of her here and there from pictures or videos that I have from the past. All right, now that that's done, um, your comments are so important to me. Uh, they, they, they give me inspiration. Uh, so please leave, leave comments in there. I love hearing about you know, how you guys feel about the videos, any ideas that you have is awesome. Please, please, always leave comments. Uh, as well, um, this is this is a kind of a two-way street. You know, I work really hard to get you guys content and come up with ideas for shows and stuff. What I need you to do is one: I need you to subscribe. Um, we need to get we need to get the uh, subscription count at least up to a thousand before the channel can even be monetized. Um, it's. It's not that I'm doing this for the money, but I would like to help my wife out as much as possible. Um, uh, I st I'm, a, I'm a creative, and it's really hard to work at a standard job because um, pe employers typically don't like people that think outside the box. And I discovered that um, early on that I would work for someone, pour my heart and soul into it, try to like make their business better, and they just wouldn't appreciate it. They just wanted me to carry this, move that, clean this, clean that. And that's just not how I'm made up. Um, sometimes I wish I could be. But I, I accept the fact that I'm a creative and I've got to find something that, you know, that I'm passionate about. Um, so making videos, I'm hoping to help my wife out with bills and stuff. So that's really what this is about. Um, in no way do I want to like be rich um, if I were to ever be rich, I'd probably use that money to help people, to be honest with you. Um, um, so far, uh, I've invested in a tripod. That's why the video looks so good. Uh, it's got the light, and I've been able to use an older phone that has a better camera than my laptop did. So so I'm, I'm always going to be improving the video I'm going to try. Um, I've got to learn. I'm more of a hardware guy, so that was an easy thing for me to do. The software end of it, when it comes to editing, um, adding stuff to the videos, that's going to be the hard part for me, and that's going to take a little while for me to get to learn that. Uh, let's see what else we got here. Um, 
the polls that I post. Um, make sure you go and vote. Uh, vote in my polls, and it helps me like know where where you're at when it comes to my videos and things. And it's ideas that I come up with. So I just don't want to implement an idea and be like, oh, and people are like, oh, we hate that. Why'd you do that? I'd rather get polls and find out what you guys think before I go to implement something. Um, also, when it comes to the YouTube channel is uh, making sure you click the like button. Um, a lot of people don't know this, but the like button uh, is almost more important than you watching the video. That's how YouTube ranks the like button. So, all, you know, even if you don't watch the whole video, you know, I get it. We're busy. You may, it may not even, the video that that day may not even be what you're into. But if you click on it and you're watching it and you're like, you know what, this is not what, this, I don't, I'm not interested in this at all. At least click, click the like button. You know, that will really help the channel. So, so there's that. Um, oh, uh, an update on my weight. Um, I have a friend that is very positive that helps me a lot. And, uh. Um, they uh, have really been pushing me to get on the scale. Um, anybody that's heavy out there knows how hard it is to get on the scale. So what we've done is I'll get on the scale, he'll read the number, and that way it doesn't depress me because I have a long journey ahead of me. I've got a lot of weight to lose. And oppose me looking at this massive number and then get depressed and then, you know, I, I know I'm an emotional eater. So to get depressed, two, week, two weeks, one time he slipped up and told me my, my, the number. And I was like, it threw me off for like two weeks. Um, so now what we do is we try to weigh once a month. And for the month of December, now mind you, I haven't been taking anything. I've just been trying to tweak my diet, stuff like that. Um, can't do a whole lot of exercise with it being winter out. Um, so uh, I lost two pounds in December. And then uh, he, they reminded me that... Uh, uh, it's a new year, I need to hop on the scale. I was like, all right, let's do this. So I hopped on the scale, and I lost another four. So I'm moving in the right direction. I just reached out to my doctor to get some uh, uh, time-release metformin that I'm hoping that will uh, speed up my weight loss, as well as uh, some other drugs to research into that are injectables that help you lose weight. So I'm looking for a huge change this year, and you guys are all going to be there with me to help me get through it and see my progress. Okay, let's see what else I got here. On to page two. Um, I watched my documentary for the first time in a long time the other day. And uh, um, so that way I can better explain things to you guys. And um, it, was, it was really, really interesting to watch it again. You know, I, you know I've watched it a few times. My wife, uh, I, th I don't know if she's ever watched it or not. That's how much that the whole experience kind of freaked her out. Um, she don't even like talking about it. Matter of fact, for my friends and family, I've just told them, like, please, don't bring it up, because it does not put her in a good mood at all. Um, let's see here. Um, speaking of the documentary, um, I know a lot of you have seen the, the eight-minute video on Facebook, uh, videos on YouTube, um might not necessarily know where to find the documentary because you can stream it uh it's on apple plus uh, i believe it's on hulu plus um it's on uh, amazon prime uh how you would find it on amazon prime is it's under uh, tlc presents and it's episode 32 um on amazon prime it is 2.99 um i don't see any of that money so don't think that i'm trying to like solicit you guys into like oh get it because i get half or whatever just you know, if you want to stream it, cool. I'm going to see if I can find... I have a DVD of it somewhere. I'm going to see if I can find it, and then someday I want to do, like, a me in the corner doing a doing a commentary on it. And that would be really cool. I think people would really enjoy that. Um, I mentioned that a lady helped me from my mom's church in the first episode. And I talked to her, and she said she's fine with me sharing her name. Her name is Becky. And she's, she's almost like a second mom to me. Um, without her, none of this would have been possible. It would have never went viral. I might not have gotten my surgery. In all likelihood, I might be dead by now. So um, my wife and I talked about it in the pool one day about how to go forward with what to do about this, the lymphedema. And we were talking about it and we said, well, 
if I don't do anything about it, what is what would I expect my life expectancy to be? And we kind of we hashed it over a little bit, and the probability of it taking me out in ten years was highly probable, because uh, movement and then getting sick and then just dying within ten years. So the goal was it was to have surgery with the idea that I would live longer than ten years. Um, right now we're eight years after the surgery, so you know time will tell whether or not I live that past that ten years. But here's hoping, right? Um, uh, make sure you watch that first video um, not necessarily just for the views but I don't want you to you know, I know you gotta grit your teeth through it because the the, um, the video quality is atrocious and the lighting's not that great and I'm thumping throughout the movie uh, without throughout the show so just uh, go back you know if you haven't seen it if you skipped right to this one just go back go ahead and watch that one and you'll be able to see the difference of like how much I've upgraded and trying to do a better job because I'll probably do a third and a fourth and fifth you know then after I learn some more skills or whatever um, again it says here to apologize for the tapping so I'm sorry you know I didn't realize it until watching it on my TV that I was even tapping um, um, right now would be a perfect time to pause the video and click like and subscribe you know that and then come back um, I've watched some YouTube videos. I'm a huge YouTube watcher. I love YouTube. Um, I like to learn and all the, I mean, don't get me wrong. I like to watch movies, probably it's movies, YouTube, you know, very rarely do I watch TV shows and we don't watch anything with commercials. Uh, but YouTube channels, some of the YouTube channels I like, I like, um, Joe Scott. I like, uh, uh, how to hunt, uh, with Steve, a uh, Bigfoot guy. Um, I like uh, uh, Simon Whistler, um, the Tri Channel. Uh, what else do I like? Um, uh, drawing a blank now. Hmm. There's a lot of YouTube videos that I like out there, just put it that way. So, me and my wife watch YouTube all the time. And if, there, if I ever have a question for something, that's where I usually go. I'm more of a visual learner than a re reading learner. But if I can't find it on YouTube, I'll, I'll type it into Google. Let's see. Um, and I think that's it for my notes. Uh, but I am going to touch on the documentary because that's what you all came for, right? Theoretically. So let's see. Let's, let's talk about... Um, the train trip, oh, the train trip was atrocious. Uh, must be I really like that word today. So anyway, um, the reason we took the train out to California is I'm a huge Kevin Smith fan, and slightly before before that he had gotten kicked off of the plane for being too fat, and I know that I was much larger than uh, Kevin Smith, and and he was devastated by being kicked off of the plane for, for his weight. And I just, I, there's no way I could deal with that. I, I didn't want to deal with it. I was like, so, you know, let's take a train. I'd never taken a train before, so obviously I thought that would be the perfect solution. Holy crap was I, like, I totally underestimated how horrible it was. Um, first of all, trains are designed for thin people. So if you're a large person, understand that the doorways and stairs and the bathroom walk through because we got in a cart or a, 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 our own little room in the, in the train uh, for such a long journey. Uh, all of them were tiny because they're, they're, they were designed a long time ago and they're not really designed. They're designed for maximum space, whatever. So I had bruises on my sides and stuff from trying to get into the bathroom because the doors were the, the doorway was so narrow. Um, I had a hard time navigating the stairs with my hump in the way and with it being so narrow. So, and then I like it says in the documentary, I was kind of trapped in my car because there again, I didn't feel like going down the hallways and stuff. Um, we ended up stopping in Chicago. Um, you can't take a nonstop train from uh, Battle Creek to California. It just doesn't work that way. Um, so we took a train from Battle Creek to Chicago 
and got off in Chicago um, because we had gotten a cart because it was it was very expensive. It was in the thousands of dollars. Um, so we go to the VIP room waiting for us to for our next connection train. And as we're riding the little tram to get to your v, the v, VIP room, we we hear the the um, train people talking about the fact that uh, what was his name? For some reason, I'm drawing a blank. Um, oh, careful! I was t t tapping again. Uh, uh, he sings great balls of fire. Um, I'm going to Google it real quick. Hold on. I got my computer right here. Bear with me for a sec. Jerry Lee Lewis. That's who it is. Anyway, that Jerry Lee Lewis was in the VIP lounge. And I was like, oh, that's cool. I love Great Balls of Fire. That's a great, great song, whatever. And ironically, I thought about this in the documentary or the, when I watched the documentary just recently, it was like the irony of meeting the guy that, that did Great Balls of Fire when I had my scrotal lymphedema. I thought that was kind of funny. So anyway, uh, I had to Google what he looked like because we only know him from like pictures from when he did the song when he was really young. And he's an old man at that point. So anyway, I see him and I'm like, you know, I want, and so I talked to my producer of the show or whatever and I'm like, I want to go up and talk to him, you know. And so I asked him, I was like, hey, are you okay with being on the show? And he was like, yeah, I'm fine with that. And so they actually filmed me talking with him, with him and his wife. Uh, they were very nice. Um, they were on their way to Michigan, I think, to visit some grandkids. And I wish that footage would have gotten put into the documentary because it was really cool to meet him. But for some reason, it, there again, it just didn't get added. Um, so we leave Chicago and we head out towards California. And it took forever. And the best way I could describe it is I kind of have a feeling of what the astronauts felt like on their way to the moon. Like, just, you're in a capsule, metal capsule, banging around, you know. And so when we get, up, when we get to California, um, we, deci we decided, this was for the council, we decided that we would never, 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 never do that again. And so we ended up buying, so I did some research and found out that the first class uh, plane tickets uh, had larger seats. So I was like, well, you know what, let's try it. If we don't like it, you know, whatever. Um, Amtrak typically does not refund tickets. Um, I think the only reason, then they did refund my ticket. Um, I think the only reason they did it was because of the documentary. Uh, I think they, was afraid, they were afraid to get some bad press about it. So anyway, we flew home and everything worked great. And we're like, sweet. So we flew back out. Well, then after the surgery, I couldn't walk. And you have to be able to walk down the walkway and in between the seats to get on the plane. And wheelchairs just don't fit, especially large ones like I was sitting in. And so I ended up having to take a train home. And I was like, oh, not again. And on this time around, I'm like, you know, healing. You know, I'm suffering. I'm in pain. And so it was even worse yet. And on top of that... The wheelchair also doesn't fit very well to the doorways on the plane, so, and I can't barely walk, or not plane, I'm sorry, train, and so, so you can imagine how fun that was, so, so yeah, it was, it was an ordeal for sure, just getting to California and back twice, um, pretty much the, the whatever money we made from the documentary pretty much covered all the travel expenses, um, so. It was quite taxing for someone dealing with what I had to do that. So um, we're at the 19 minute mark and I, and I usually like to end my videos with a positive message and I think today's message is going to be reach out to people you haven't talked to in a while even if you know like sometimes we get into a situation where you're upset with someone or they're not doing, they're not living the way you want them to, or they're not treating you the way they want you, you wanted to, and you haven't talked to them in months. Check in with them. Um, we don't always know what people are going through at the time, so if you reach out to them, go out to lunch, hang out with them, and if they haven't changed, that's okay too, you know. And then you just like, okay, I'm going to check back, you know, and to yourself, you know, I'll check back in another six months and see if they've changed, changed how they are. But don't give up on people so quick. All right, this is Dan.
Nice seeing you. And I'll post more content. Catch you later.